Brothers and sisters, what does scripture say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we preach. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with their heart, and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. For scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Hi, I'm Molly Healy from Marist Chicago, and I'm doing a reflection on the second reading. The opening of the reading is very powerful um, with the statement that it makes, in that we are ensured that our faith within us, the flame within us, will continue to burn, and it is up to us to release that faith with the world. This particular passage, um, the rest of it, also reminds me about um, how many different cultures and religions have, have similar hopes, aspirations, love, and faith. Um, as we embrace the Word of God and spread His teachings, we should continue to embrace others' values and lessons within their religions or different cultures. Um, while we are learning about others, we are creating a better world for each other um, and a more peaceful place to live in. The scripture is a tool for us to create a more curious and fulfilling life and become eager to learn about another's view of the world. Going through my years at Marist, I was able to learn about many different cultures and lifestyles other than my own, and it became easier and easier every day to identify with complete strangers, whether they were a different religion, they were from a different country, whether they were just from a different area of Chicago than I was from, um, and I became comfortable uh, being around many different cultures and people not similar to me. Maris has taught me a uh, to live a really respectful life, and but also not being afraid to ask intriguing questions that I want to know about another uh, person's culture, and that has really allowed me to grow in my faith and um, become a lot more understanding of mine and others.